anyhow, um, we got some stuff moving this year. New Brunswick was a huge story, and that ties into some of the shifts in political policy as well. Um, now, New Brunswick, um, the policy was policy 713 that Blaine Higgs uh, was has spoken out against. It was a policy drafted in schools that included uh, keeping secrets from parents, about change of social uh, of, of pronouns, social transition, um, you know, in the name of so-called protecting trans kids, and you know things like overnight camps where self-identified boys would be sleeping in girls' cabins and things like this. There was a bunch of stuff around seven one three. It was uh, a, a set of policies that was uh, drafted and implemented by two activist organizations without any accountability whatsoever. No inputs from outside. This is we're, one of them is the Pi School, that's Sochi Education. Um, and they teach about uh, cis uh, anti-normativity and cis heterosexism and uh, cisgenderism and all these, all these new um, categories of oppressors. Um, and they're, uh, they're mobilizing to, um, along with EGAL Canada, which is a national organization, to, to try and get the courts to take their side, uh, to, to hold on to these things uh, in, in terms of policy. But Blaine Higgs uh, is, again, I saw an article today, expecting an election this year. He is, is staying the course on the issue of gender um, and, uh, and was the first politician, elected politician in Canada to stand up and speak about this in any capacity. Yeah, well done. Uh, yeah, so we, it, nice to see that kind of I movement. I opened a floodgate. Yes, almost right away. Um, uh, uh, about the same time, we had this uh, news story that came. Uh, this is from Rebel News. Uh, Drea Humphrey has actually done some really great work this year. Uh, Fort Nelson, Saskatchewan School, ap apologizes for sexual materials given to students. This was a planned parenthood, an outside organization coming into a grade nine classroom bringing these materials with them, kids getting access to them. Oops, sorry. It was unintentional. It was a mistake. But there's a pattern of mistakes with these cards. Yeah. Um, the same that behavior. Has cropped up. Yeah. And they just they just denied that they were doing anything. Uh, this was a sign that was uh, on, on the right-hand side, put up in British Columbia early this year. Getawake.ca, which is a parents' organization, uh, raising the question, what are kids really learning in schools? And, and you know, if, if we are to look at what Planned Parenthood is doing, it's, it's quite frightening. So, so Saskatchewan followed really closely. Scott Moe immediately uh, put his foot down, uh, banned all outside consulting uh, groups and outside organizations from bringing content into the classrooms. They were doing an investigation into how these cards ended up in the class. And then very quickly cottoned on to this uh, secret social transition uh, thing that was happening and ended up invoking the notwithstanding clause when a Saskatchewan organization and EGAL Canada mobilized legal, uh, a legal challenge to uphold the secret policy. That made those zealots real mad. Very mad. <laughs> Tories promised parental rights. Call uh, Critics call it a dog whistle. Yeah. What they fail to understand is it's it's parent it's parents' rights is just a term. It they try to frame it like parents believe they own their children, but parents are stewards of their children's lives. They raise their children from birth. They look they're part of the family, they're they're related. I mean, if nothing else, we understand that related animals are much, much more prone to altruistic behavior towards their, their kin. And so all of a sudden it's like we've forgotten that. Or Looking after your own children's interests and caring about your own children suddenly is a dog whistle. I cannot believe that a lot of people seem to be buying this. That's that's the crazy thing. It's not the zealots. The zealots are going to say whatever the zealots say. For me, it's still those people who are smarter than that, who sympathize with these ideas, who because they're not thinking this through, they're being swept away along these yeah. uh, arguments. Those are the people that I would like to reach in 2024, reach more people like that. Uh, and get them from stepping down from the crazy podium. That's yeah. what I'd like. Yeah. Well, one of the things that came out, again, this was Leger polling, was that 78% of Canadians were against schools keeping secrets like this from parents. That yeah. 78, or, you know, almost 8 in 10 people was 
was split a little more um, saying uh, that parents should be involved in the decision as well to socially transition. And, you know, about half of that group was saying, well, parents need to be informed, but, you know, if there's going to be a social transition, that then that's going to be on the kid and, and on the schools. So uh, it did give us an indication that the majority of people aren't, you know, going to push for these secret transitions. Only about 14% of the population said that schools should keep this secret, that it was, you know, saving trans kids. Like the presumption I here. I can tell you, I, I don't know. I haven't done my own polling or my own data, but there, there are many people who are left-leaning who believe this stuff. They might not, you know, when you drill down to it, no, they don't think there should be all this secret transitioning in schools and they don't believe the more extreme aspects of it. But in a, in a polite conversation, I'll have, yeah, but you know, parents are abusive. And so it's really important not to out kids at school. There are a lot of people that are swayed by these arguments because they are not thinking through what's going on. And they're simply believing arguments that are being put out by uh, legacy media that, that I've encountered quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an eye opening year for sure. Click on one of these suggestions for some other stories in the gender landscape in Canada. Hope you like them.